Welcome to Maths with Bob. We are looking at the another in the three minute series, the absolute value equation. This is uh, problem number two, and you can see here we've got to solve the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals 2 minus the absolute value of 5x plus 2. So it's actually a double absolute value equation. So um, let's have a quick look. What have we got to do? Well, obviously, um, yeah, this is a problem here. Um, okay, and you can see here that it's um, going to basically involve. Uh, Replacing those absolute value signs with a couple of uh, plus and minus signs, which this is what I usually do when I actually do these. I just replace those absolute value signs with a plus and minus. You can see here. Okay. All right. So what do we do? Well, we're going to now try and uh, look at the different cases. Now, what are the different cases? Okay. Well, uh, there's quite a few cases. There's the plus plus case, the plus minus case, the minus plus case, and the minus minus case. Now. Um, if you have a look back here at the uh, original expression here, you can see here, I'll just try to make it a bit bigger, but uh, the plus, plus, plus case will give us um, basically a, a minus here, So, and then a, the plus, minus, those two minuses will make a plus, and then the minus, plus, or those two, uh, the plus will just make that a minus. Anyway, so the, there'll be a bit of a case, a bit of a, uh, you'll just have to work out the signs. But the plus, plus case gives us what? X is equal to... Uh, when you work it all out, negative one seventh. Uh, the plus minus case gives us x is negative one. Uh, the minus plus case gives us x is one third. And the minus minus case gives us x is equal to minus five seventh. So we actually have four solutions which we now have to substitute uh, into our, back into our original equation just to check. Okay, so let's have a look. Here's our, uh, no, so we've got a fair bit of work to do here. Now let's see if we can go through this. Okay. Okay, here we go. The first solution, okay, uh, x is negative one seven. So what do you do? Well, you put that in where the x was, and you just have to see, does this actually satisfy the equation? And yes, it does. The absolute value of five sevenths equals five sevenths. How about when you put in one third? Well, is the absolute value of five thirds equal to negative five thirds? No, so that one doesn't work. How about x is equal to negative one? Well, when you put x is negative one in, you end up getting is the absolute value of uh, negative one equal to negative one? No, that's not the case. Okay, so let's have a look at the last one. Uh, x is equal to negative five sevenths. And hallelujah, yes, this one does work. Uh, the absolute value of minus three sevenths does actually equal uh, three sevenths. That's okay. So our only solutions you can see here: um, x is equal to negative one seventh, and x is equal to negative five sevenths. Okay, let's just have a quick look at GeoGebra. If you have a look at GeoGebra here, you can see uh, the two points of intersection are A and B here, and you can see the green uh, absolute value graph is the absolute value of 2x plus 1, and the, the red one is the actual 2 minus the uh, absolute value of 5x plus 2. We, as you can imagine, that turns it upside down, that negative sign. Okay, we're just a little bit over three minutes, and thank you for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.